friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn about the climate of india and the flora and fauna now the first heading is india climate in india there is a great variation in from temperature and rainfall not only from season to season but also from region to region and year to year india has the climate of tropical monsoon due to its peculiar position in the asian continent and the indian ocean the indian subcontinent has hot summer and moderately cold winters during summer the temperature may rise to 48 degree celsius in the thar desert while it is a low as 40 degree celsius in leh in winter the annual rainfall in the thar desert is less than 10 cm while it exceeds 500 cm in meghalaya in the himalayas winters are extremely cold while summers are moderately hot now the factors affecting the climate factors such as location physical features and distance from the sea play important roles in determining the climate of india first one is location the tropic of cancer divides india in almost two equal parts the southern part is in the tropical region while the northern part is in the subtropical region thus the temperature remains high throughout the summer Now the second one is physical features the temperature decreases with increases in altitude thus the temperature is low during summer in many parts of the himalayas the northern plains remains very hot during this time moreover the himalayan ranges that extend from west to east do not allow the cold winds which come from central asia to enter india during winter and thus keeps the country warm Similarly it helps in heavy rainfall during the monsoon season the third one is distance from the sea the coastal areas experience moderate climate because of the presence of water bodies but the interior part of the country experience extreme climatic conditions now the cycle of seasons the variation in temperature amount and distribution of rainfall and the monsoon winds cause four distinct seasons in our country they occur in a phase sequence to form an annual cycle of seasons the four seasons are the cold weather season winter the cold weather season starts from the middle of the november and continues till the middle of the march the temperature is generally low and decreases from south to north the mean temperature in northern part of india is below 20 degree celsius while in the southern part of india is above 20 degree celsius the days are generally warm while nights are cold january and february are the coldest months in many parts of india the hot weather season summer the hot weather season also called the pre monsoon season starts from the middle of the march and continues till the end of may in some parts it continues till the end of june during these months almost every part of india experiences hot and dry weather in may the highest temperature of about 48 degree celsius is recorded in rajasthan hot dry dust laden strong wind locally called lu now the south west monsoon season rainy season the south west monsoon season starts from june and continues till the end of september the term monsoon has been driven from the arabic word mausim which means season due to excessive heat during the summer the land masses are heated and thus a low pressure area develops over india on the other hand the surrounding water bodies remain relatively cool and a high pressure area develops over them the indian peninsula divides the southwest monsoon winds into two branches the arabian sea branch and the bay of bengal branch now the season of retreating monsoon atom the season of retreating monsoon starts from the middle of september and continues up to the middle of november the process of retreat is slow and gradual the months of october and november are marked by clear skies and a slight rise in temperature the weather becomes oppressive due to excessive heat and high humidity this is known as the october heat 
इट इज द पीरियड ऑफ चेंज फ्रॉम द हॉट वेट सीजन टू कूल ड्राई सीजन द रेट्रीट ऑफ द मानसून बिगिन्स फ्रॉम द पंजाब प्लेन्स इन द मंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर इट विड्रॉज फ्रॉम द कंट्री बाय द एंड ऑफ नवम्बर एट दिस टाइम द नॉर्थ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स टेक ओवर एंड आर कॉल्ड द नॉर्थ ईस्ट मानसून द सैक्लोन्स विच ओरिजिनेट इन द बे ऑफ बंगाल हिट द ईस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया सैक्लोन्स आर कॉमन ड्यूरिंग द सीजन ऑफ रेट्रेटिंग मानसून नाउ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रेनफॉल द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रेनफॉल इन इंडिया इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई फिजिकल फीचर्स एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रेन बियरिंग विंड्स द एवरेज एनुअल रेनफॉल इन अवर कंट्री इज अबाउट वन ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर्स दिस इज द हाइएस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड फॉर द कंट्री एज बिग एज इंडिया मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रिसिपिटेशन ऑफ अवर कंट्री इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेनफॉल parts of meghalaya receive about 800 cm of annual rainfall while some areas in southwest rajasthan receive less than 10 cm of annual rainfall the world's highest rainfall about 1142 cm per year has been recorded at mazanram near chirupanji in meghalaya it is the wettest place of earth वेस्टर्न राजस्थान लद्दाख एंड किन्नौर एंड लाहौल स्पिटी इन हिमाचल प्रदेश रिसीव लेस देन 50 सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ एवरेज एनुअल रेनफॉल नाउ इंडिया फ्लोरा एंड फाउना नेचर हैज गिफ्टेड अवर कंट्री विद अ लार्ज वेराइटी ऑफ फ्लोरा और प्लांट्स एंड फाउना और एनिमल्स Flora is the first form of life that appeared on earth. It was followed by fauna and human beings vegetation and wildlife are very important natural resources. Now flora Natural vegetation is the plant cover in its original form without much changes done by humans. In our country, the original plant cover consisted of forest, grasslands and shrubs. Forests grow well in areas where there is enough rainfall. They are normally conserved in areas not fit for cultivation. The natural vegetation of India ranges from the one found in the tropical region to that of the arctic region. The forests are unevenly distributed and can be broadly classified into tropical rainforests, tropical deciduous forests, desert vegetation tidal forests alpine vegetation now the importance of forests with about 17% of the world's population india has nearly 2% of the total forest according to the national forest policy the minimum desired area under forest cover should be about 33% india lags behind with only 24.16% of its total land area under forest cover the forest resources in our country are not only inadequate but also unevenly distributed out of the total forest only about 70% have valuable trees most of the forests are deciduous and coniferous the forests play an important role in our economy such as they maintain the water cycle and regulate the flow of water in streams they meet nearly 40% of the total energy requirements of our country they provide about 25% of food required for the livestock in india now fauna the indian forests house a large variety of wildlife more than 80000 species of animals are found in india india has more than 1200 species of birds and many types of reptiles the elephant is the most majestic and the largest mammal found in our country it is found in the forest of assam west bengal madhya pradesh karnataka tamil nadu and kerala The one-horned rhinoceros is an endangered species. It is now confined to restricted locations in Assam and West Bengal. It is protected in the Kaziranga and Manas National Park and the Jaldapara Wildlife Sanctuary. India is the only country in the world that has both tiger and lion. The natural habitat for of the Indian lion is the Gir forest in Gujarat. Tigers are found in the forest of Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal and the Himachal region. 
At present, there are about 50 tiger reserves in our country. The fast reducing forest cover has adversely affected the wildlife. The, num the number of animal species have now drastically reduced and some of them are endangered. The decline has also been due to reckless killing of animals by humans for personal enjoyment and gain. This is a serious threat that calls for urgent measures to protect our wildlife. Animals and birds are our national heritage and must be protected. Thus, a number of national parks, wildlife and bird sanctuaries have been set up in different parks of India. A national park is a reserved area meant for preserving not only wildlife but also the natural vegetation and the natural beauty of the region. A wildlife sanctuary is a reserved area meant for the preservation and development of endangered species. With a view to protect and conserve the biodiversity of our country, biosphere reserves are also being set up. They are multi-purpose protected areas where all the plant and animal species are conserved and protected in their natural habitat. If you like this video, so please like, share and if you are new on my channel, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching.